I'm Dr. Thompson, Aqual Thompson Ntuba, the Chief Editor of Health and Development Magazine, and we are in the Baltimore Convention Center this Wednesday, 2017, and we are part of the Society of Toxicology, United States of America. And you can see in the background the Hispanic Organization of Toxicologists, and we have people from Mexico. Colombia, Argentina. What's your name? Hello, my name is Alejandro. What about you? Beautiful. Why are you Hispanics here? Why are you people here from Argentina, Colombia, Mexico, and why are you here? Cuba. Cuba. Why are you here? Why? Because we want to have this group together with people from Ibero-American countries. Because we want to improve the networking between our countries. And this is, uh, I think, the best place to do it. Because all of us, we are doing What did you study in undergraduate level? I studied Thank you very much. And I think you are, you have a loud voice and we will all pick from you so that we get everything very fine. What did you study undergraduate? I studied chemistry. Chemistry. You? I you? Or medicine. I'm, I'm doctor. I'm a doctor. You're a medical doctor. Very yes. beautiful. You're my colleague. I'll, I'm going to come back to you. And what about you? I'm studying biology. Biology. Still on my graduate course because I, I am an undergraduate. Doctor, you must have had situations which have to do with toxicology in general medicine. There is a neurotoxicology. There is toxicology of the liver as it relates to the use of poisons like alcohol and alcohol, the vaccinosis and a lot of things. There is toxicology of the respiratory system as it relates to using casein, uh, uh, nicotine and cigarettes. Now we have e-cigarettes and all these other toxins. So what are your experience with toxins and medical practice in Latin America? Uh, okay, um, I'm from Colombia, uh, Colombia, and I studied only country in Latin America that have a, a special postgraduate uh, course uh, for uh, doctors, for medical, uh, for, uh, for doctors uh, uh, to be specialized in, in medical toxicology. Uh, we uh, work with a lot of uh, cases of, uh, of kind, uh, all kinds of intoxication, uh, alcohol, uh, pesticides, uh, venomous animals. Um, are, uh, venomous animals. Tell me a little bit about the snake venom and how you, you manage that with antidotes and a little stuff. You know, we have a lot of pythons and snakes in tropical uh, yeah. regions. So, what's your experience? Uh, I have a lot of experience with uh, animal venomous, uh, venomous animals, uh, especially with the snakes. Insects, like uh, spider. Uh, Good afternoon, spiders, ladies and gentlemen. Spiders, uh, I'm excited to announce today winner of the $500 American Express you are a gift card. And some of the chemicals that lead to, you know, Marie Mosdale of UNC at Chapel Hill. Congratulations, you're today's winner of a $500 American Express gift card, courtesy of our diamond level exhibiting organizations. Marie Mosdale of UNC at Chapel Hill, congratulations. Please come to the Tox Expo sales office located behind the SOT Pavilion to pick up your gift card. Yesterday's winner, Blessy George of Rutgers University, Please come to the Tox Expo sales office behind the SOT Pavilion to pick up your American Express gift card. A reminder to all Tox Expo exhibitors, 